हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी वी आर सीइंग द टॉपिक दैट इज व्हाई डू फॉल इन इन फर्स्ट हैव कवर्ड इन फर्स्ट सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड अबाउट द हेल्थ एंड डिजीज नाउ इन दिस सेशन वील गो थ्रू अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीजेस एंड कॉजेज ऑफ डिजीजेस सो दे आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीजेस लाइक हियर वील सी फर्स्ट एक्यूट डिजीज chronic disease infectious disease then non infectious disease okay so first type of disease is acute disease now disease which lasts for a short period of time and does not have long term effect on health is called as acute disease means there are some diseases which last only for a very, very short period of time okay suppose example can be uh, you experience the common cold which lasts only for a few days means when you experience uh, this cough and cold you visit a doctor he will give you an antibiotic or he will give you uh, some medicines and you are uh, cured within a short time okay? you can uh, this cured in a week or so so that type of disease is called as acute disease example for this can be cold cough typhoid cholera etc that means the disease which is lasting only for a short period of time is called as acute disease okay now next is chronic disease chronic disease is a disease which lasts for a long time and has a drastic effect on health that means th there are some diseases which last for a long time there are some diseases which have different effect on your health like uh, if you can take the example of infection causing elephantiasis okay or you can say the tuberculosis which is caused by uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis like these diseases are the diseases which last for a long period of time you can see the example of diabetes also that is a lifetime disease you have to continue see the sugar levels in your body okay next example can be of cancer the abnormal uh you can say formation of cells leads to a tumor that and that disease is a disease which lasts for a long period of time okay next example is arthritis here you can see a normal hip joint okay you can see the cartilage right now in arthritis what happens this cartilage is damaged okay and you can see a decreased space between the joints so this leads to arthritis and many times you can see your uh, grandmother and all uh, which are facing these problems arthritis in knee uh, mostly so this comes under chronic disease the disease which lasts for a long time or you can say lifetime are the disease which are chronic diseases okay next is the infectious diseases or you can say communicable diseases now these diseases which are the diseases which are spread from infected person to a healthy person okay from infected person to a healthy person that means the disease is transmitted from one person to other person now for this we can say there are many infectious agents which are responsible which are transmitted through air water food vectors through physical contact or sexual contact means here you can see the example you know when a mosquito which is carrying the protozoa or you can say the plasmodium which causes malaria this bites a healthy person what happens this plasmodium circulates in the whole body of human being okay through means first it will go to liver then from liver it will go to red blood cells and then it will start flowing through the whole body in blood okay now when another mosquito bites that infected person the blood mixes with the saliva of that mosquito and that mosquito when bites another healthy person that saliva enters into the healthy person and again that plasmodium is transmitted to healthy person and that person gets infected by malaria so like this with the due to mosquito this disease is transmitted from healthy person to sorry from infected person to healthy person okay 
so example of communication communicable diseases can be malaria which is transmitted through mosquito which is a vector in next session we will continue what are uh, what are vectors okay again through physical contacts means you can say like uh, uh, you have an uh, you have a casual physical contact like uh, hand shaking or gestures many times the bacteria in the hands of a infected person gets uh, transmitted to a healthy person again through air means through during coughing or sneezing the droplets of the infected person uh, comes in contact with the air and that air when breathed by healthy healthy person that bacteria enters into healthy person and healthy person gets again the infections so more chances again through water also when a person drinks any uh, unsafe drinking water he will get many types of disease like cholera or you can say typhoid like this okay so these are infectious or communicable diseases next non infectious diseases or communicable diseases means total opposite of infectious diseases that means the diseases which are not spread from infected person to healthy person okay so the reason can be for this is that uh, it can be an internal abnormal function of body okay the infection non infectious disease are caused due to uh, uh, abnormal function of uh, internal organs of the body like you can say high blood pressure it is mostly mostly caused due to stress right again rickets scurvy all these diseases are means they have different reasons for the causing of the disease okay so the disease which are not spread from infected person to healthy person are non communicable diseases so these were all the diseases now we'll look have a look on the causes of diseases now there are many causes of diseases and the most common example for this is microbes or you can say microorganisms the infectious agents okay now here comes our bacteria they can be bacteria they can be virus they can be fungus when these bacteria virus or fungus they enter into your body they cause various types of diseases that means different bacteria are responsible for different diseases like earlier we have seen that s type is responsible for typhoid virus hiv virus causes aids fungus causes various types of skin infections again next is environmental pollution you can see in the picture the harmful gases released from these chimney of the industries when these harmful gases are inhaled by human beings they get various types of breathing problems like asthma bronchitis that means mainly the they have problem in breathing or respiration okay next can be malfunctioning of body parts as i have told you earlier that non communicable diseases are caused due to the abnormal functioning of internal organs again genetic order disorders you know in our body different genes are responsible for different type of functions okay different functions so when these genes are not functioning properly or they have mutation or they uh, uh, function abnormally what happens again they lead to a disease so these are some of the causes of diseases okay so this was about types and causes of disease in next session we'll cover modes of transmission of disease how these diseases are transmitted